Mario. Super Mario has made his rounds starring in his own video games and man have we seen him go through the graphics gauntlet. Today we are going to take a look at the best graphic stylings or graphics for our main man Mario. Oh and I asked a few of my YouTube buddies for their answers so stick around if you dig. Number 5 Whoa, 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 what a way to start. This is a funky choice for me because when I was a kid, I did not really dig the graphics here in this game really at all. But as I have gotten older and I play the game time and time again, I really do enjoy this isometric silky looking Mario. The game has a polished yet unpolished look all at the same time. Super Mario RPG has some really fun animations that feel so, so, so retro and nostalgic, but also really hold up to today's vibes and today's standards. If you never tried this game in your life because it did not look like something you would be into, you're probably wrong. You need to drop that Sega Game Gear and get your hands on a Super Mario RPG cartridge. I promise you won't be let down. Or, I don't know, maybe you will be. Blame Ricky if you don't like it. Number 4 Breaking news! I love me some Super Mario Brothers 2. I almost feel bad or kind of annoying at this point talking more about this game, but that's what this list calls for. As I have stated before, Super Mario Bros 2, no matter how it became to be, had a little bit more rounded design to the characters as opposed to what many other more harsh edged games on the NES were doing. Another standout that I've mentioned multiple times and I'm gonna do again today is the ending animation. It was the thing dreams were made of in the 80s and 90s. Are you sure you're good with that joke? No. No, I'm not. I always felt like that Super Mario 2 just felt like a brighter game than Super Mario Bros did. The blues felt more blue, the whites felt whiter, if that makes sense, and the greens felt greener. If you were looking for a Mario game where jumping on enemies does not kill them, look no further than Doki Doki What the- Hmm, number three. When is too much, too much? To find out, we crammed everything into Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. 60 more levels, massive enemies, huge Yoshi tricks, all served up with the latest graphic technology, Morphmation. Mm -hmm. Sure you don't have room for another little bonus level? Uh oh. Super Mario World 2, only on the Super NES. Still the big one. Oh my god, what a gorgeous game this is. This is ultimate drool material for me. Also, how dare you mutter under your breath that this isn't a Mario game? It is, at least for me. How could you make baby Mario cry like that? I know this may sound random, but I always like it when colorful things or colorful art styles have black outlines around them and this game has got it. The unique art style speaks for itself and really showcases what beauty could be portrayed like on a SNES. Until this point, I kind of expected Mario games to have a similar visual style, you know, more pixely, but this game stomped my expectations and then fluffed my pillows with excitement. I don't know. I don't even know why I wrote that, to be honest. You get my point. Me speaking is only demeaning what glory this game bestows. So just look. Stop looking at your phone. Number two. Frick. This game is gorgeous, and that's right, I said frick. Tell my mom, I don't care. Super Mario Galaxy is beyond <laughs> good. This game gave me that sense that Mario could do anything and could go anywhere. Mario 64 gave me that exploration vibe in a Mario game, but Galaxy was next level. The Wiimote also really added to the experience while playing the game, and that's not something I ever thought I would really say in my lifetime. But it just works so fluidly with Super Mario Galaxy. Again, here I go talking about colors, but all the bright colors, but this time mixed with so many dark atmospheric colors, what a sight to see, and, and it still is. Also, we're all still hoping for a Super Mario Galaxy 3 though. We are due, Nintendo. We are due. Oh 
you better bet before we get to number one. I am so throwing out some of my other favorites to avoid death in the comments. Super Mario World, Paper Mario, Mario 3, Mario Maker, yeah, that counts, and Super Mario Sunshine. Number one. I almost forgot. Here are the picks that some of my friends said was their favorite Super Mario style graphics. Jay from the Game Chaser says Super Mario Odyssey. Gerard from the Completionist says Super Mario All-Stars Pack. Retro Rick says Super Mario World. John Riggs, Super Mario Bros U Deluxe. Gamester81, Paper Mario. And Metal Jesus, Mario Galaxy. Number one. We have reached God level, my people. Super Mario Odyssey makes me cry with its beauty. The vast and different worlds all look so different from each other. Playing is basically anything you want in the game brings so many different art styles to life, among other things. Heck, we even have a look at Mario in a real life setting. Oh, you say you don't like the newer graphic styles in Mario games and you wish we would just stick to more retro stuff? Well, don't you worry, this game has the retro Mario game vibe on lockdown as well. Honestly, when I saw the trailer for this and I saw Mario jump from 3D to 2D in such a beautiful, flawless fashion, I screamed like a little girl. I mean, that's how I always scream, but nonetheless. Super Mario Odyssey is a spectacle of a Mario game. Just the visuals on one or two of these worlds was enough to land this in my number one spot. But holy cow, the worlds are so vast. And with all these other worlds, you have locked yourself into that numero uno spot. Way to go, Mario. How the heck do you keep getting better and better with age? I wish I could say the same for myself. Gray hair gray hairs every day new gray hairs <laughs>